Okay, so uh, I'm here to uh, discuss about the uh, uh, learning management system, which is going to be your uh, Google Classroom. And uh, I used to uh, take the classes in Google Classroom itself, and uh, uh, the study materials and all those things, whatever it is required for the class, I used to share with uh, Google Classroom. Uh, so here I just have. Uh, shown you my google classroom and uh, in that classroom i have already utilized uh, um, uh, three classrooms over here and uh, these two are the present one that is fifth semester and the third semester are present one and this one is the older version so uh, now i'm just showing uh, for this project uh, as this is my project classroom that i have prepared basically on that i can see uh, i have maintained all those things over here uh, and I used to take the uh, classes directly uh, by uh, joining from this particular meet link so I should not have to uh, go for any sort of like uh, Google meet uh, separately installed onto it and here are uh, like uh, class streaming so there for the students uh, so this is basically uh, MI lab and theory class for my students so here I can see the students enrolled onto it. Um, these are the teachers associated with me, and these are the students. So I can see 27 number of students are there, and uh, uh, the, uh, some some uh, five students have not uh, activated their account yet. So they have been invited. So uh, here I can see the class uh, class works and. Uh, these class works are basically uh, divided into three categories one is laboratory category and uh, one is uh, theory category this is laboratory category and all these things are shown over here uh, this is my theory category and uh, i can see my elements over here or materials that i have uh, uploaded here then this is the uh, assignment categories and that means uh, any sort of assignment or quizzes that is coming under this and this is the common category where uh, we can see the syllabus is included over here for this particular subject the uh, course outcomes and the uh, syllabus materials as well as the subject code subject name and the credit information is there uh, so these are the uh, means uh, lesson plans uh, not exactly lesson plans means uh, course curriculum has been divided into uh, hour basis so how many hours we will be covering uh, what module that is displayed over here and these are the textbooks as well as reference books now uh, coming to it here uh, i have uploaded uh, one ebook and uh, some other ebooks are about to be uploaded over there now coming to the assignments first uh, so in that assignments uh, very recently today itself i have taken uh, one quiz for the students and google uh, means a quiz question has been prepared over here and the students have uh, participated so 23 students uh, from this section has been uh, means have uh, appeared for this test and four have not so this detail is also there with me and once i can be click on to wait i can be able to get the whole details of their assessment so once i will just uh, open it i can be able to get the total details of the students who has got how much so yes uh, yeah so i can be able to see so basically it is showing us 63 because two sections mainly we have taken the uh, class test so all details are there uh, then apart from that uh, uh, the students have submitted the assignments also over here and these grades are also being offered to them so uh, out of 27 students we can see 18 students uh, have submitted eight did not uh, submit and one uh, copy has been graded already so in that case if i will just see about this uh, uh, students those who have submitted i can find out who are the students those who have submitted on time and this is the student uh, these are the students who have missed this uh, assignment to be submitted uh, we can just look onto it and this is one student uh, who has been graded so accordingly we can be able to see the gradings over here also for each student the gradings can be displayed over here so uh, now i'm coming to uh, the project okay. so 
the next one is uh, coming to the laboratory for an example so here uh, basically we used to like from the very beginning i'm starting uh, so we can see uh, these are the assignments this is one uh, means a, a laboratory experiment assignment that has been given to them so this is the virtual laboratory link that i have uh, shared with them this is for another experiment four students have already submitted mm, 23 is about to submit and these are the various uh, total uh, like laboratory manual as well as the uh, virtual lab uh, means uh, locations or addresses are maintained in there this is the virtual lab manual uh, that has been uploaded along with the uh, uh, virtual addresses mentioned over there and these are uh, the virtual lab addresses where uh, by clicking through that uh, the student can directly be able to get into the experiments and they can so uh, we are maintaining in such a way so all experiments are maintained over here and this is the uh, means uh, uh, video that uh, uh, inside the classroom we have prepared during lecture and that has been uploaded in google classroom also through the drive we can see uh, this is the video and we can be able to operate it Yes, so this is the uh, lecture video that has been uh, shown to the students. Okay. So uh, here also for this experiment, three fourteen students submitted, thirteen did not, and uh, these are uh, for other experiments and student comments also been shown over here so there are three comments you can see the students have submitted that on time and this is my theory part in this theory part uh, i have shared with them the study materials this is for module one or chapter one these are various study materials that we have shared these are the ppts study pp study related ppts we have shared then uh, uh, these are all ppts and this is another video a video lecture uh, that has been uploaded over there obviously this is one of my uh, video lecture class so lectures that are being uh, recorded during the class hours and these are also uh, and obviously uh, that's it and uh, I can see the grading over here the student grading are being displayed in a single place uh, so it is very much clear from my tabular representation that uh, the students the students those who have submitted who have submitted late who have submitted late so every detail is submitted means so mentioned over here so these are to be manually mentioned over here so i have to do it this process was very uh, recent this is men, uh, means uh, taken on 27th of uh, uh, august so these are the total things that i'm maintaining in my google classroom so thank you very much for watching this video